Okay, we're rolling right along here now, I believe. I believe we are. Anyway, correlation coefficients. Nothing could be easier. Don't need no fancy schmancy um, uh, software to do it. You can do it in Excel. You can do it in R. It's pretty, pretty simple. So let's go ahead and start off with Excel for you Excel lovers. Think, somehow think it's easier. Uh, here's the data set. comes out of your data set that comes with uh, uh, Salkind's book. Um, lots of ways to do it. You can even do this if you got the Mac version. So let's just do it Mac style. So uh, simple formula equals correlation, correl, and then you put in the um, equals C O R R E L and you put in the parentheses you grab your first range put in a comma grab the second range and remember of course you can do control shift and down arrow and do that and then you get your correlation coefficient so then step two is you have to go back to your table in the back of the book, which I've conveniently copied here, and decide if it's um, um, if it's good. I guess would be the best way to put that. So let me make this a little bit bigger. Uh, we need to find um, degrees of freedom at, and we're going to do a two-tailed test, I guess. So we'll do a two-tailed test. 0.05. Um, we've got thirty cases in each category, so that's going to be and we've got two categories. So to calculate the degrees of freedom, you got you have to take one off of each one of these. So that's going to be twenty eight. So, 28 degrees of freedom. Uh, calculating by going equals count the length of this. Minus 2. So, the number of pairs, minus 2. So, uh, we've got 28 degrees of freedom. Go back here to our Thing, 28 degrees. Uh, we have 25 degrees of freedom. But we need to jump up to the next notch to go to 30. That means our correlation on a two tailed 0.05 is 0.349. We've got a 0 0.430. So thumbs up. We have a, we've a, achieved our critical value and we have our um, we've satisfied our correlation coefficient we've done we've done a significant test at 0.05 now of course we saw that we we, were, we had 28 which meant that we were slightly imprecise in our correlation test not not so much in the test but in our interpretation of it. So it wasn't that close, but if you remember, if we were doing a 0.01, uh, that value was 44.87. So 44.87, we've got 43.4. So we're mighty close. We might wanna, we might wanna check this a little bit more closely. So let me go ahead and copy this good stuff, put it over here into our commander. Boom, 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 data, import data from text file, clipboard, or URL, clipboard, and we're good to go. Now R has a nice little handy dandy um, correlation test, and it's there in summaries called correlation test. So pick two variables. We got motivation by GPA. Pearson product moment will be our our thing to pick. Two-sided 
is OK. We click OK. And we can see we've got a correlation value of 0 0.3402. 34023. Uh, so we got the same thing. But what R does for it is, is that it goes ahead and calculates us a T value for that. Uh, so it gives us a T score, degrees of freedom, and a probability value. So it kind of goes about it in a different way to kind of capture your um, capture your um, Critical value. Now, of course, we'd have to we'd have to go to the t values to 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 check that. So we got um, q t, and we got 0.95, comma uh, degrees of freedom 28. We can go bada bing. Critical value 0.107. So we're good. Now if we had a 0 0.1, 0 0.99, which was the 0.1%, um, we would we would still have exceeded that critical value again, but not by much. So, so a couple ways to get up the mountain on this one. That's really all there is to calculate the correlation uh, coefficient. So. Um, If you wanted to write this out in your um, in your lovely APA style, which of course we know you all want to so much, let me, let me give, give myself some space here. <coughs> so, um, Correlation written as R. Then we do our, our little degrees of freedom thing. Whoops. 28 equals 0 0.434 4, 0 0.434 comma probability of less than 0 0.05 so that's how we would we would write that out let's put this in our subscript where's my subscript and we got to uncapitalize that So if we were writing that for a report, that's exactly what we would write. Uh, that we we um, calculated the Pearson correlation, returning an R score of 0.395 at 28 degrees of freedom. I mean, R score of 0.434 at 29 degrees of freedom. I was looking at the wrong script with a probability of greater than 0.05. So don't use your probability over here because this is the probability of your t-test. So remember that. So, all right, that's all for correlations for today.